co-coach today, we're talking about fire blocking. Now this comes up a lot in a, can, this is conditioned space, okay? We're in conditioned space. If this was in an attic space, we could not do this, or we could not require you to do this. However, it would always be a good idea for this reason. This is a concealed space, you're right here. Fire, if it were to get in, smoke can go up or vice versa on the roof and come in, it would come through this seam. Now you want to add blocking here for two reasons. Number one, it's required for fire blocking. Number two, on the outside of your home, this is gonna get flashing, okay? You're gonna get an angle flashing that goes on the outside so that water doesn't get down into the seam. So when you put this block here, not only does it prevent fire, but it also allows for support when they go to install the L flashing, that it has something to nail to versus plywood, which isn't very structurally sound for nailing. So again, be mindful of that. In conditioned space, your roof lines, make sure you fire block your roof lines.